day. Welcome to Barbarian Rebellion. I got some uh, encouraging news today. Someone sent a report from about, uh, it's from June 29th, that uh, two chemtrail planes were uh, forced down, one by the Nigerian Air Force, one by the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force arrested the pilots, but gave them up when the U.S. De uh, demanded with uh, furious decisiveness to release them. The Nigerian military would not release them, so the uh, U.S. Uh, res resorted to their usual terrorist tactics and blew up one of their oil pipelines, and uh, the uh, Nigerian army complied with the United States' demand. But it just proves to you that not all the, all the countries of the world are on board with this crap. China came out with a statement condemning the United States and saying that they're committing biological war against the inhabitants of the world, them and Europe, them and the fucking European Union, the forefront of the New World Order. But it just goes to show you <clears throat> that some countries are not on board with this. And China putting forward that, that statement proves that chemtrails are, are a nefarious program designed to uh, probably kill us. I mean, what else could they be? People are finding uh, muck on their cars. I've got a video, I can't get it, I can't produce it right now because it's in my car camera which is in the repair shop, but it, it shows like billions of particles floating around in the air. It's, you, you can do it too, you just have to catch to the corona of the sun and behind something, the sun, put the sun behind something and the corona just sticking out on a clear day, what clear day you might have, and uh, we'll see, millions of particles floating around in the air, undoubtedly going into your lungs. So uh, yeah, that's very encouraging. I wanted to share that with you. I'm leaving the link on the side there for that, uh, for that report. And it proves that uh, the American military is, is, is uh, coordinating this whole thing. They are, the, they are the ones. The American military is the fucking sledgehammer of the UN. And uh, they're gonna spread bird flu all over the world. Their pig flu. And they're gonna like and I'm sure the strategy is to block out the sun. Keep the sun away from us because that's the only thing that's gonna save us from the swine flu. A lot of, a lot of people are asleep on this uh, massive crime. They they don't appreciate like I know people in the truther movement who, who are sitting on the fence. They, they don't fully appreciate what this is. This is, a, this is like a monumental crime. And it's, it's definitely some kind of genocide, some kind of uh, Agenda 21 bullshit. Some, it's definitely part of a, a, a broader agenda. It's like the first attack. I, I think it's uh, softening the kill zone. When they take it to the next level, we're going to know it. And there's going to be no denying it. And they'll be even admitting that they're doing it. So, right now, the people have, like, a hell of a lot of power still. That's why they have to pussyfoot around with all their clowns in the media circus on that fucking TV that you should have put a sledgehammer through fucking years ago. You should not watch that TV. You should not let your children watch that TV. That fucking thing is communist poison. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> we, need, we need to get off our asses, get off the fence, because this is like the most serious issue facing us today. This is bigger than the Kennedy assassination, the Cold War, 9-11, uh, the whole war on terror, all of those bullshit lies our stinking government has sold us. 
those motherfuckers need to need they get lobbied a lot and this is why they do what they do they get lobbied by the corporations like constantly but the people are silent so what do you think they're going to do you know if you put the lobbying on one scale and the people's you know complaints on the other man it's, you're going to send the people's complaints through the roof when you drop all the lobbying on the, this side of the scale we need to hound our government officials. They're a bunch of stinking, spineless cowards. Okay? And now if we amass, en, ma en masse, and hound our government officials at every turn, why are you letting an enemy come in and, and uh, poison us and cloud our skies up and deprive us of sunlight and beautiful days? Why are you doing this? We need to head them off at every fucking avenue that they go, every feel-good meeting, every feel-good banquet they have. We have to be right there hounding them because this has to stop. Otherwise, we are dead. I do find that take the uh, force down encouraging, but the fact that the United States uh, forced the government to give up the pilots who should have been hung right there and then or shot right through the fucking head. But that's how much control the U.S. government has over the whole world right now. And they are the enemies of the world. Not the American people, but the American government and their stinking military. If, if, you're, if you're in the Air Force or in the Army and you you are you are fighting for the Canadian Army or the American Army or the British Army your duty is to mutiny your duty is to get out of that army right now throw them back their jackboots and get the fuck out of that fascist army because they're not serving their country one bit when they're spewing chemtrails all over our country and screwing up the whole ecology and making everybody gradually sick For Barbarian Rebellion, that's my word for today. Good day.